and welcome to this edition of The Boston Show. I'm your host, Francesco Tartaglia. Last week in Boston, Superintendent of Boston Public Schools Tommy Chang announced that former Superintendent Michael Contempasis will be the interim headmaster of Boston Latin School, and longtime educator Jerry Howland will be the associate headmaster. Due to unexpected resignations of both the headmaster and assistant headmaster, a void has been left in the school. As a lot of you know, there's been a lot of ups and downs throughout the year, uh, but at the end of the day, today we're here about how do we move forward uh, for Latin school uh, with the great education and uh, excellence that they have in the school. Mr. Contempasis is a 1957 graduate of Boston Latin, served as the headmaster of Boston Latin School from 76 to 98, and in 1998 was appointed Chief Operating Officer for Boston Public Schools before becoming Superintendent of the District from 2005 to 2007. Mr. Howland is a 1966 graduate of Boston Latin School, served as the headmaster of another course to college, housemaster in charge of discipline at former Jamaica Plain High School, and head of the math department at the English High School during his 46th career with Boston Public Schools. I have every confidence that Michael Contapasis and Jerry Howland have the deep experience, the knowledge, and most importantly, passion necessary to guide Boston Land School through this transitional process. Together, they will ensure that this historic institution both upholds its tradition of unparalleled academic excellence and serves as a model for safe and welcoming school environment for all students. School administration will name the co-chairs of the screening committee in the coming weeks and will hold a nationwide search for the next headmaster of Boston Latin. Dr. Chang expects to appoint the school's 28th headmaster in March. Boston Main Streets held their 20th annual award night 20 small business owners and 20 volunteers from across the city were honored representing every Main Streets district in Boston. The honorees were selected for their work towards establishing thriving commercial districts throughout the city. Small businesses, as you know, are the lifeblood of the Boston neighborhoods. And it's the lifeblood of Boston's economy. It's the lifeblood of the U.S. economy. What we do is incredibly important. What you do is incredibly important. Since the start of the program in 1995, volunteers have contributed more than 375,000 hours of their time to Main Street efforts. The volunteers honored this year collectively contributed 26,000 hours of time in 2015. Boston Police held a graduation ceremony at Aganis Arena for up-and-coming recruits. 67 new Boston Police recruits were promoted to officers this week as they received their diplomas and badges. I expect you guys to continue that role, being great ambassadors for the city of Boston. That's what we are, and I think we do a good job at that, so I want you to continue it. Almost 600 people attended the ceremony, including family and friends of the 67 recruits in the class of 5515. Local nonprofit organization Courageous Sailing and the Charlestown YMCA hosted their Splash into Summer fundraising event at the Charlestown Navy Yard. Tonight, you are all helping the Y make a tremendous difference in the lives of more than 5,000 youth and families in the Charlestown community. All proceeds from the event will go to benefit the Charlestown YMCA Annual Fund, which funds many of the Y programs and services that families in need use every day. Back from her recent sit-in on the floor of the House of Representatives, Congresswoman Katherine Clark joined local and state officials on the steps of the State House to hold a rally against gun violence. Clark underscored public support for new common sense gun safety regulation. We are America. We are Massachusetts. We sit in the cradle of innovation. We know that we can balance our civil liberties, our rights under the Constitution, 
with common sense measures that protect our families and our children. Mayor Walsh, Commissioner Evans, and local community leaders met at the 12th Baptist Church in Roxbury to discuss 4th of July safety. With the upcoming holiday, city officials reiterate to the public to be safe this Independence Day weekend. All lives matter, and we don't want any lives to be lost over this uh, holiday weekend because of violent acts, boating acts, or any other kind of acts. While safety is still a top priority, the city isn't holding back on the fun as Boston kicks off its 35th annual Harbor Fest. The celebration is a multi-day festival with activities celebrating American independence, honoring the city's colonial roots, and showcasing Boston's vibrant harbor. Over the course of four days, there will be hundreds of activities at some of Boston's best landmarks. So just make sure you don't forget your sunscreen. To watch any event covered in its entirety, stay tuned to Boston City TV. And to watch all new episodes of The Boston Show, tune in at 11 a.m. on Saturday mornings. Thanks for joining us for this edition of The Boston Show.